Hello everyone, welcome back to Study Card. I'm Yogi Shideshwara and today I will give you a complete roadmap to become a data scientist. If you're dreaming of high paying job in data science but don't know where to start, this video is perfect for you. In this video, what you will learn? What is data science? Why it matters? Job market and demand and salaries, must have skills and tools and uh, a perfect perfect study plan uh, 6 to 12 months study plan uh, or uh, 4 to 6 months if you are dedicated and uh, best free and paid learning resources practical projects and future trends common myths and doubts everything cleared in this particular video by end of this video you will have clear roadmap to kick start your data science journey so let's start what is data science why is so important Think about this. You order food online. Ever noticed how the app suggests your favorite dishes? Or how YouTube recommends videos you actually like? This magic happens because of data science. Data science helps companies understand what people want. So they can improve their businesses. From Netflix movies to online shopping deals, everything runs on data. And guess what? India is becoming a, a big hub for data science jobs. That's why, that's why learning this skill now is a great decision. Data science job market and demand. Now let's talk about jobs and demand. Do companies really need data scientists? The answer is yes. In India, there are over 93,000 data science jobs openings right now. Big companies like TCS, Google, Infosys, Wipro, Accenture, Amazon, so many top MNC companies are hiring. The average salary for fresher is 6 to 10 lakhs per annum and with experience it can go up to 50 lakhs per annum and more. Data science is used in finance, healthcare, e-commerce, IT, even sports analytics also it's used. So the demand is huge. Embarking on data science career, here are some roles you might consider. Data Analyst Interprets data to help make business decisions. Average salary in India, 5 lakhs per annum. Data Scientist Build models to predict future trends. Average salary in India, 14 lakhs per annum. Machine Learning Engineer Design algorithms that learns from data. Average salary in India is around like 7 lakhs per annum. And Data Engineer manages and organizes the data infrastructure. Average salary in India, 8 lakhs per annum. Salaries can vary based on experience, location and company size. For instance, data scientists in, in Bangalore often earn more due to the city's tech hub statuses. To excel in data science, you should know following tools and technologies. Python. It's a versatile programming language popular in data science. R language in the statistical programming language. SQL, essential for data science and database querying. Tableau R Power BI, tools for creating inter interactive data visualization. Apache Spark, for handling big data processing. Each tool has its unique strengths and proficiency in them will enhance your data handling capabilities. Steady plan. The main part of this roadmap video. This study plan is divided into six phases, covering everything from basics to advanced concepts. Along with uh, recommended projects at each stage, you will get to know every point. Actually, this uh, study plan requires six to 12 months time. But if you do more hard work and put more dedication, you can complete four to six months. The first phase, you should learn programming and basic maths. It takes only uh, one to two months. In this, you can choose the best language. Uh, my suggestion is that Python is the best language to learn. And uh, start with very basics like uh, variables, loops, functions, and uh, object-oriented programming concepts. And uh, basic maths for data science also should learn like a linear algebra, matrix and vectors probability and statistics, mean, median, standard, deviation. 
and also you should learn calculus uh, in a basic way at least like uh, derivatives integrals for optimization solve basic python coding problems on lead code hacker rank or kaggle and at end of this phase one you should create sample uh, small mini projects like a, you can create simple calculator that finds mean median and mode phase two data handling and visualization for this you at least you can take a uh, one month time in this particular phase you should learn these python libraries uh, numpy works with numbers and arrays pandas best for handling big data tables matplotlib and uh, seaborn used to make colorful graphs in this particular phase you should learn the following skills uh, like uh, how to clean messy data how to handle missing values how to analyze trends in data at the end of this particular phase i uh, should create small project or mini project like uh, pick any data set like uh, ipl stats and make cool graphs using matplotlib and seaborn phase 3 introduction to machine learning it takes at least two months time uh, you should uh, supervising learning linear regression uh, maybe it uh, useful for predicting prices logistic or regression uh, and spam email detection it useful for and uh, decision trees and random forest best for real world predictions and also you should concentrate on k nearest neighbors kn and uh, also you should concentrate on k means clustering uh, grouping data and principal component analysis pcf for uh, dimensionality reduction at the end of this particular phase 3 uh, you should create a mini project uh, like um, create spam email uh, classifier using logistic regression Phase 4 advanced machine learning and deep learning uh, concepts it takes at least 2 to 3 months it's a main part of this study plan okay so boosted models uh, best for kaggle competitions uh, xg boost ada boost uh, gradient boosting and deep learning like uh, on neural networks len uh, tensorflow or uh, pytorch and cnn uh, for image recognition and also should concentrate on uh, uh, for time series and uh, chart boards for that you should learn like uh, rnn and uh, lstm uh, by end of this project uh, concentrate to create a mini project like a uh, make a face mask detector using cnns phase 5 big data uh, nlp and uh, model de uh, deployments it takes at least two to three months. Uh, natural language processing like a tokenization, stemming, lemmatization, uh, and uh, also you should learn like a sentiment analysis, like example like a positive or negative movie reviews. Big data and cloud computing. Uh, for this particular uh, topic, you should learn Apache Spark for handling big data. Work on Google Cloud, AWS, and Azure. And model deployment uh, uh, for this particular topic, you should use a Flask or a Fast API to deploy models, learn Docker and Kubernetes too. By end of this project, build and deploy chartbot using NLP, Nature Language Processing. Finally, the phase six uh, should choose uh, a specialization and build real projects. After learning basics, focus on one area like a computer vision, uh, face recognition, media, medical imaging, or NLP, chartboards, or text generation, time series, or stock market prediction. Uh, you should concentrate on these particular areas and uh, you may create multiple projects, mini projects like a, a Netflix style movie recommender and uh, predict stock market prices. And maybe you can create a fake news detector using NLP. Uh, and along with that, maybe you can create a uh, uh, basic stock market uh, prediction tool too. So, uh, so in getting a job in data science, you should create a strong GitHub portfolio and contribute to open source and participate in Kaggle competitions, prepare for data science interviews using SQL, ML, Python case studies. This study plan ensures you learn step by step while applying hands-on projects. 
You can complete it in 6 to 12 months depending on your pace. Ready to learn? Here are some resources to kickstart your journey. Free resources? Uh, Coursera offers free course on data science fundamentals. But I'm not sure every course is not free in a Coursera. You may check now. And Kaggle, a platform with free data sets and tutorials, especially provides some real world projects. So it's also helpful to become a data scientist. And obviously YouTube channels, channels like uh, Krish Naik and uh, uh, Free Code Camp and Simple and even uh, StatQuest uh, with uh, Josh Tamer provide excellent tutorials. If you want to any paid uh, resources, uh, Upgrade is a very good choice, like offers comprehensive data science programs. And obviously Simple Learn provides structurized courses with certifications too. And edX University level course from global institutions. Investing in a mix of free and paid resources can provide a well-rounded learning experiences. Hands-on projects are crucial. They not only uh, reinforce learning but also showcase your skills to potential uh, employers. I'll give you some project ideas. I already mentioned some of projects in our study plan, right? Along with them, uh, you may create something like a sentiment analysis, analyzing social media posts to gas public opinions, and uh, sales forecasting, predict future sales for retail company, and the recommendation systems, building a movie recommendation uh, engine, and uh, document your projects and platforms like a GitHub to create an impressive portfolio. The future of data science is bright. With advancement in AI, artificial intelligence and machine learning, data scientists will continue to be in a high demand. Uh, if you observe, AI integration also included in data science, it's a combining AI with data science for deeper insights and automated uh, machine learning, auto ML simplifying the model building and ethical data uses like emphasizing data privacy and ethics. Uh, staying abreast of these uh, trends will keep you competitive in field. Let's bust some common myths or doubts in a data science. You need a PhD to become a data scientist. Not true. Many roles value uh, skills or experiences over advanced degrees. Data science is all about coding. While coding is essential, understanding data and uh, deriving insights are equally important. Only tech companies hire data scientists. Data scientists are needed across various industries, from healthcare to finance. Don't let these misconceptions deter you. With passion and persistence, you can thrive in data science. Finally, uh, most of the people have this particular doubt or myth. Is data structures and algorithms required to become a data scientist? I will explain in detail uh, because it also helpful some people. That's the reason I included this part also in this particular roadmap. I want to cover everything. That's the reason. Okay. Actually, data structures and algorithms is not mandatory for uh, every data science role. But... It is highly recommended if you want to be uh, crack the data science job interviews in many companies, especially FANG. Uh, mostly they are ask DSA questions, uh, optimize machine learning models, efficient data structures help in handling large data sets, work with big data, uh, efficient algorithms improve processing speed. It's uh, mostly the event. It's not required for every data scientist role. It's uh, based on the company, based on the project. It depends on it. So, when should you learn data structures and algorithms for a data science? If you are focused on uh, machine learning, AI, and uh, uh, or analytics, basic DSA is enough. If you want to work in a big tech companies or data engineer, uh, strong DSA knowledge is required. If you are if you are into research, statistics, or business analytics, you can skip advanced data structures and algorithms. Yes, this was a bit of lengthy video, but I'm sure that content was 100% helpful in giving you a clear roadmap. Now, you should have more confidence in starting your data science journey. If you found this video valuable, 
प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर एंड डोंट फॉर्गर टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल स्टडी कैट फॉर मोर एंड मोर प्रैक्टिकल गाइड्स रोड मैप्स एंड जॉब अपडेट्स ट्यूटोरियल्स एवरीथिंग गॉट एनी क्वेश्चन ड्रॉप दैम एनी कॉमेंट कीप लर्निंग कीप ग्रोइंग सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो